What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music, which is my project that I run right here. Thank you so much for your support. Going to break down some BB Box concepts that should hopefully uh, break open your vocabulary a bit. There's some cool things in here that I think uh, you will enjoy. And also I have multi-hour courses, including a whole Licks course that you can get for free when you sign my newsletter at Marty Music. First comment uh, below, you'll see where you can go to it. And I just really appreciate that. Anyway, let's break down these concepts. Here we go. All right, I want to uh, go over some more BB box kind of concepts here. And I'm going to pick the key of C. So the way I think of the BB box is the root on the B string. So the C note is right here on the 13th fret of the B string. And the BB box combines major and minor a lot, right? So what I want to do is we can think of the BB box, but we can kind of look at the blue scale and the major pentatonic and the kind of mixture of things that are going on right here, but all kind of plugged in with that root on the, on the B string. So the first uh, thing that I'm going to show you is really just more of a minor blues or a uh, blues scale lick. And so what's going on there is I'm bending the minor third. A lot of times the BB box is here. But I'm choosing to bend the 16th fret of the B string. So, And then as it reaches almost a whole step bend, then I go to the 13 of the high E. Then I'm going to the 15 of the high E. Then with my index planted on the 13 of the high E, I hammer on pull off that blues note there, which is the 14th fret. Almost flicked, right? So. So after I do that hammer on pull off, I go back to the 16 of the B. And then you can do an alternate thing where you go back to that, which is kind of like the, um, like a Chuck Berry thing. So that's the first one. The next one is where we take the 15th fret of the high E and we bend it up a minor third all the way up to that. But then roll right over to the root. And you could whole step bend it too. But the point of this one is to bend it all the way up and then immediately roll over to the root. So you're not hearing it go up and back down. You're just doing a bend up right to the root. <clears throat> all right, so that was the next one. Oops, wrong key. All in that, you know, BB box kind of thing. The next thing I want to do is take a look at the high E string, because there's a lot of stuff right here in this position of it that uh, are, is more common in the position below, but you can do a lot of it. And I think you get some pretty cool little sounds out of doing it in the BB box position. So take a look at this. 
with your index finger on the, uh, you know, 13th fret of the high E, you've got the blues note right there. And then you've got what's called the fifth right here. You know, all that kind of stuff, right? Lots of milk out of that. But I don't know if I've ever made a video where we've actually done a bend with our index finger to that blues note. So what you can do is you can just give it a little half step nudge up with your index finger. So you can do it natural up half step and back. Or you can start a half step up pre-bend and, and hear it go down. But then eventually you got to get either to the 16th fret of the B or in that more BB kind of sound, the 15th fret, right? Uh, with the minor third. Okay, so another thing though, is uh, since you've got this note as part of the scale, the 15 of the high E, you can bend this note up a whole step, which is a bit harder to bend with your index finger, but you can do it. So now, another classic, which you'll hear Albert King, Stevie Ray Vaughan do a thing like this, but they don't do it in this position, and that's where you do... And it usually happens on the turnaround, so if we were in blues in C, it'd be a G chord. So what's going on is you're starting natural and then you're you're progressively going up the this little chromatic blues thing. But with bends from here. Which is kind of emulating but with bending. And then you can go back natural for the four chord. So. And I, I'm calling this more a BB box lesson as opposed to a BB King lesson, but you've always got the BB King where you hit that high root and kind of slide your finger off uh, 
So for a C note, it's all the way up here, 20th fret. then you can always go back down into your home row, more comfortable stuff. So look up my other BB box licks and combine it to what we were just doing in this lesson. And I think you might uh, spark some new uh, concepts, new ideas. Once again, you've been watching Marty Music, my own project here that I run and I really appreciate you supporting it. And uh, can't wait to see you again real soon. Please take care, we'll see you later. Ugh. <sighs>